I tried some shockingly good barbecue while I was visiting San Diego, and you need to check this out. And that's starting right now. We found Phil's barbecue from a quick map search near our hotel while staying in San Diego. Since this was supposed to be a quick casual dinner, I left the heavy camera equipment at the hotel for this dinner trip. And this ended up being one of our best meals of the entire trip. Phil's has been around over 25 years, offering relatively simple barbecue offerings that were developed from scratch with no particular history in any kind of regional barbecue specialty. Sit back while I walk you through everything I got to try on this visit because it was incredible. Walking in with the line all the way up to the door, I realized not bringing my good camera was a really big mistake. But I was able to get some good footage and I think what I have here is gonna really help paint the picture of how good of an experience this was. Instantly, I could smell that the food was gonna be amazing. And believe it or not, that actually made figuring out what to order really difficult. Now, I wasn't terribly hungry, but I did wanna sample a few different things. So I settled on the rib and chicken combo, specifically the baby back pork ribs and the chick less dinner. When placing our order, the lady ringing us up almost convinced me to go with the beef ribs over the baby backs, but I stayed firm. I will say the menu is deceptively large. It looks simple, but when you look at the diversity, they really have everything. Burgers, sandwiches, barbecue, sides, it's a lot. We did start with the pretzel. It's advertised as a large pretzel served with cheese sauce, homemade buttermilk ranch, and mustard. This was a big mother. <laughs> It was definitely not your standard food service pretzel, and it had a firm and dark chewy crust and a nice pillowy interior. The buttermilk ranch was amazing on its own, but it really didn't add much in terms of actually eating it with the pretzel. Honestly, with a pretzel like this, you just gotta go hard with that yellow mustard. <laughs> Getting into my barbecue platter, I went with very simple sides, fries and slaw. Nice and crispy on the fries. The slaw was nice and fresh, creamy, cold, all the types of things that you want in a slaw. But for me, it was all about the cue. So starting with the chicken, I went with what they call chick less. Chunks of white breast meat chicken seasoned and barbecued. Let me tell you, it's very obvious this is chicken breast just based on the visual. And when that plate came to the table, when I saw that, I was worried that that chicken was gonna be really dry. And what kind of reinforced that was the fact that it was heavily doused with the sauce. When I bit into that chicken, I was completely shocked because it was extremely juicy. I can't even begin to tell you. And when I say that, I couldn't tell you how they do that. I have literally no idea. Now for me, if I order white meat, I realize that it's probably going to come a little dry in most cases, so I don't mind it. But I guarantee if you were blindfolded and you got to try this, I don't think you'd ever guess that it's white meat. The dry rub that's on the chicken adds kind of the first layer of flavor here, and then that sweet and tangy sauce kind of puts it over the top. Now, I don't think they're adding any sauce before it gets plated up, and that's because the sauce seemed completely separate from the chicken and not like incorporated into the cook. And I think they're using the same sauce for everything, including the ribs, which we'll get into in a second here. As far as this chicken, it was really, really good, just like hitting the like button. The ribs follow a very similar commentary, dry rubbed, grilled and slow cooked, and then sauced as it comes to the table. The result is a sticky, sweet rib, nice chew. I really dislike the description of ribs when people say it falls off the bone. Honestly, that's not how barbecue should be. That's what I call mushy garbage. You want to be able to bite into the meat and chew it. Not like a jerky, of course. Anyway, now that I get off my soapbox, these ribs have that perfect balance of nice soft meat and chewiness. And I think this is where you get to see that that dry rub and barbecue sauce work really well together and complement each other. I did try looking into this as far as their retail store, and it seems like they have only one version of rub and one version of sauce. So I'm inclined to believe that's what they're also using inside the restaurant. But, and this is probably completely wrong, it's very possible that because the chicken and ribs tasted so vastly different that they may have different sauces or rubs. I really don't know. And to me, that's a remarkable thing because it's just astonishing how different the two meats were considering how similar the seasonings may have been. Very interesting. Phil's is a really cool place. The staff was really nice from placing the order to them bringing it to the table. And the vibes there are just overall very chill. It's actually the perfect place to to come with a family or a large group. And on a funny side note, I got a kick out of the fact that the signs leading you to the bathroom said Turlets. We are catching up to Emerald Lagasse and subscribers here on YouTube. You can help out by hitting that subscribe button and that'll help you keep up with all the new videos. I have much more coming to the California playlist, but if you missed my visit to a ridiculous Marvel themed restaurant, the only place that I've had a pretzel bigger than what I've had here at Phil's, be sure to click into this video right here because it's insane.